Dad, did you really get us a real apple from a real apple tree? Oh. You think she's gonna like it? Is it sour? Oh, it go. Well, good, wonderful, beautiful, um, how do we say this, Memphis? Exhausting, Mordian, Mor Mordians, Podians, Morning Podians. What are you looking at? Is Grandma and Grandpa out there? I see Grandpa. He walking way down there. So, to fill you in on last night, Jamie and I were talking and I don't think we've ever been through a thunderstorm like that inside the RV. And my dogs normally don't care about rain, thunder, fireworks, lightning, none of that. Memphis last night, the thunder got to her. When the thunder rolled, so did Memphis. <laughs> so Memphis and I were up most of the night last night. I actually at one point in time covered her ears for her and she finally relaxed and fell asleep. So. We had a long night, but she seems fine this morning and it's not raining. I just fed them and now I'm gonna cycle some dogs and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do today. All right, Memphis, you're first. So last night when we pulled in, there was tent campers behind that black tr truck. There was tent campers on the other side of Jamie and I. There was a van camper here and there were a bunch of tent campers here. And everybody left. And I have a feeling it had a lot to do with that storm. Tell you what, we got here last night and the lake was not rolling. It is rolling today. That was a crazy storm last night, but it was kind of interesting. Like I said, the hardest part was Memphis was not happy about it, but we're gonna walk some dogs and figure out what we're gonna do today. I see Miss Indy. Do you see Indy? She's like, I already saw Indy once. I saw her once. You see Miss Indy? Hey, Miss Indy, hi Indy. And Memphis is like, nope. <laughs> All right, are you ready for this? So, the planet, can you see the wind out here? Look at it. We're gonna go on an adventure. I don't know where we're gonna go, but we're mainly gonna drive around and see some stuff today. Maybe go into some shops. I think we're gonna go to Aunt Noggin. There's a cool rock shop there, if it's still there. I don't even know if it's still there. So we're gonna take you guys a couple of cool places. Not a lot of hiking today, cause uh, <laughs> it's crazy. The waves on Superior are getting bigger by the moment. And uh, yeah. But we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna go do something and try to see if we can find an adventure. My mom and dad are all loaded up and ready. We're all loaded up and ready. Wanna go for a ride? Yeah, wanna go for a ride? You too, you wanna go for a ride? Do you wanna go for a ride? She's like, anything but that thunderstorm last night. All right, I understand. We're gonna hook you girls up and we're gonna go. It's spitting rain. Yeah, it was spitting rain when I walked down to mom and dad's too. It was like, oh, and then I was like, is it spitting rain or is that coming off a of superior? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's, should we bring these umbrellas in? We could. If you got space for them, stuff them in there, Why just not? in case. Bad idea. Yeah, just our fancy umbrellas. <laughs> there are a couple small ones, I think, in the Jeep, too. Okay. So. All right, yeah. Sounds good. I'm going to get their leashes on and load them, I guess. It's going to be a crazy day. I showed them the wind. Yeah, visibility when it's misty, rainy. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like driving in fog. Yeah. So. Well, good thing we're not hauling a trailer today. We're just I said that to mom and dad. We wouldn't be able to drive in this. It's too windy. There's no way. I would not feel 30 safe. 30 mile an hour winds. 30 mile yeah, an hour. We'd had to go down to 45 miles an hour or something yeah. just because the gusts because of the wind. A different lane. Yeah. So what I was uh what a lot of people talk about in the groups that I'm in, like if it's above 25 miles an hour, something. yep, they'll just stop. And that's what it seems like is you get over 20 mile an hour winds. 25 mile an hour, even 20 mile an hour gusts, yeah. you know, push you. Look at that! There was one time we were driving yesterday and we're going down the road and it's all treed so there is no gust or anything and then a big power line crossed yeah. the road, and there was a big cut in the trees and it was the same direction as the wind and I couldn't see the wind skipping across but as soon as we hit that little bit of an opening it was like, well we're going over here. Yep. And it was, uh, in Michigan, I don't know about you guys' states or where you live, but uh, the yellow line and the white line have little vibrators. Yeah. We call them zip strips. Yeah. And as soon as the tire hits them, it just vibrates and makes noise. But as soon as that tire hit I mean, it pushed me right we out of that line. It was like, oh gosh. It's getting worse the longer the, we stay here. Yeah, the, and you're right, the wind turned. It did. It's you know, on the lake now. Yeah. If you the lake's going to be amazing. If you look at the waves, you got two, three foot rollers. Yeah. Already more than it was this morning. Yeah. 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 It's, it's gonna be fun. You know what I wish I had? A huh. raincoat. Uh, I need to get a raincoat for in here. The dogs have a raincoat up there, which I will okay. need for later. But okay. I don't have a raincoat. Poncho? I, yeah, it, I just for days like this, it'd be nice for because they have to go out and I don't want to get soaked. Right. I'll put it on my list of things. Right. What do you girls think? All right, let's get ready to literally rock and roll. There it is. Oh, 
Houghton Hancock Lift Bridge. You need to bring your snowmobile up here so you can cross this bridge. Yeah, we can cross this bridge. Yeah. Underneath it, they open it up for snowmobiles. Oh, there's a rock garden down there of some kind. This is the lift bridge. It's the only way to get to the Keweenaw. You gotta cross this bridge. Yeah, which we determined the Keweenaw is an island. Yeah, the Keweenaw is an island. Somebody prove us wrong. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. So cool. They took all that stuff down over there. The whole parking garage we used to stay Are at they, over there. They kill our lane. Uh, I don't know. Do I got a zipper? I think it was three lanes here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, we're heading towards Antanagan. That's where we're going. You see it on the sign right here. Yeah, they're doing short work. Antanagan. Let's go. Oh, look. Now we can see Hancock. That's Hancock over there. It's a little uh, hazy and mm -hmm. raining, but you know, it's fun. These roads are very confusing if you've never been here before. This should be a roundabout as well. No, I think that worked perfect. Uh, There's only three Look at all roads. these cars waiting. That should be a roundabout. Mm, maybe you're saying. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's, yeah. that's a lot of traffic. There's right. Hancock on that side. <laughs> I love these old buildings. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we made it. <laughs> yeah, we found a place we can see the water. We made it to Antanagan and holy cow. The lake is, cr look at these trees going. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting out of here. We'll get blowed away. Yeah. We'll get out at the next stop. But we're in Aunt Noggin. We're checking it out. And we wanted to come see Lake Superior. And it's, uh, it's doing a thing. Definitely crazy. And it's supposed to get worse. Yeah. So. We'll see. We're, we'll be right on the lake. It's so an we'll adventure. We'll see it tonight. Yep, it's an adventure. We found the gift shop rock shop. I'm telling you, there is nothing here. I know, Jamie kept telling me there was nothing up this road, and I'm like, there's a rock <laughs> shop. Like, I went to no, it. There's nothing here. We found a rock I shop. Know. And a river. But there, out is, Naga river. there is a souvenir rock Yeah, shop it's right here. You just have to go to the end of the yeah. road and turn. Yeah. So, But it is at the end of the road, so yeah. of course. Hey, look, there's a lighthouse. Yes, that is there? the lighthouse. Oh. Anyway, we're gonna go inside here. So many, those are pretty. Oh, here's, here's your agates, Ma. Ooh. I have one of those. I found one of those. Mine is not as pretty as those. those are, these are pretty, they got a green one. Let me buy you one. <laughs> oh yeah, well, maybe you'll get some while you're up here. I don't know. Some float copper. That's pretty. So we're on Main Street in Antanag and we just came out of that gift shop there, but I love that every building has a picture that shows what it used to be. Did you see that? Every one of these built, so like this is a picture of the street view of what the street used to look like. Here's another one. I love that. That's so cool. Oh, and you can purchase the photos. How cool is that? So you can kind of see what it used to look like. Anyway, we're going to Porcupine Mountains. Ooh, it's windy. So I got a copper coin and I got a new pin for my pin wall. And then look what I got, Jamie. They're dark chocolate, but they're dark chocolate covered blueberries. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, oh, Jamie will like these. Even though they're dark chocolate, they're blueberries. So I got you those. I got you this and you can have it now. It's blueberry honey. It's, or sorry, blueberry caramel. Oh, okay. It's a blueberry caramel, and then I got a blueberry truffle. I don't like blueberries, but I'm gonna try it because it's chocolate. <laughs> and I got you a caramel. And then I got... I was supposed to turn right there. Oh, we were supposed to turn right there. Oh, sorry, I was distracting you. And then I got some um, lilacs and bloom spray because I've never seen broom spray that smells like lilacs before. So, I got it. <laughs> and now we're leaving Aunt Noggin and heading towards Porcupine Mountain. It says Eastern time, so I think we're still in the Eastern time zone. Where do you see I don't know, there's a sign that says Visitor oh, Center fine. something, 8 a.m. Yeah. to 5 p.m. Eastern, Eastern, time. Eastern time, so I think we're still in the Eastern time zone. So we're at the Porcupine Mountains. We're gonna go into the Visitor Center here and check some stuff out. And you girls are gonna wait, and then we're gonna let you out in the rain, okay? <laughs> deal, deal. So we came inside the uh, Porcupine Mountains Visitor Center. I'm gonna get some information on different things in here. Look, there's a beaver. Hey, it looks so fluffy. There's a bear and a black bear, a little baby black bear, porcupine. So they got some information on animals in the park, stuff like that. I hear the wolf, but I don't see him. But I hear him. Oh, there he is. He's so cool. Look. Push to hear the wolf howl. And then they got like 
Here's the fur you can actually touch. There's what their tracks look like. People always think my dogs look like that. That is a lot bigger than my dogs. I'm just saying. Whew, it's still raining, but after this, we're gonna let dogs out, and then I think we're gonna go to Lake of the Clouds. There's Mother Superior. <laughs> look up there, yeah. Uh -huh. It's been a long time since I've seen that many waves that close. Yeah. So we just left the visitor center, and now we're heading to Lake of the Clouds. Which and I think is just gonna be clouds. I think it's just gonna be clouds. <laughs> I don't know that we've ever seen it in weather like this, so it'll be another experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Memphis? She's like, I think when we get out, you should let me walk up the hill. Okay, we totally will. We did just take them for a short little walk so they could all go to the bathroom, but we'll do some more walking when we get up here. We're uh, at the mine shaft that we stop and see pretty much every time we go here. There it is. And it's raining, so I bet it's wet down here. But this is the entrance to one of the mines from where they used to mine in here. I'm sure you can hear water running. It's dark, but listen. That's so cool. So cool. I'm coming up. This is across the street from the mine. What? No apples this time? And you can see, so the water that runs from that mine runs across the road, comes right out here, runs down here, and look at makes this cool little pool that I'm sure is nice and warm to bathe in. And then it goes down here and just flows down into Lake Superior. It's super pretty though. Even in the rain, this is all still beautiful. And this, I believe this is a mine outcropping, but I don't remember. But this is a, uh, you can go down here. The lake is way out there, but this is a cool area. We never really come on this side. Look at the trees are already changing, you guys. It's craziness. Back to the car. You got... I don't think that one's very good. Oh, you got them off the ground? I'll stay up here with the dogs. Go check out the lookout. No way, I'm so... <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna have to do this again, right? Right? Here, yeah, it's just right at the car. end there. Yeah, you can. All right, I'm getting back in the car. We made it to Lake in the Clouds. It's raining, but we're going. So we got so excited when we left the campground, we forgot the belts. We didn't grab the harnesses. Is it raining harder or is it just blowing through the trees? <laughs> oh yeah, you are. I chose to not take an umbrella. Jamie's got those two girls. We're taking the easy way up. The nice easy boardwalk. <laughs> Let's go see Lake in the Clouds. In the rain. New experience. Yeah, still worth it. Still worth it. I always love the little river down there. Yep. There's a little so little great. carp river, I think is the name of it. There is a lake over there, but it is literally in the clouds. It is literally in the clouds. The you cliffs look cool. It. I can yeah. See yeah, it's there. It's literally in the clouds. Weird transition between clouds and water. It yeah. looks like there's another big cliff right there. Yeah. It's deceiving. <laughs> yeah. But it looks cool. Yep. It still looks cloudy. Right. <laughs> that river is still cool though. And there's the lake. We might have to come back tomorrow. Hi girls, I see ya. That's, it is pretty cool though. Even in the clouds, it's cool. We have decided to go this way, to go down. This is on part of the trail. Yeah, North Country Trail, I think. I don't know, or it's just the trails that go through the park. Yeah, I forgot. There's the rock we normally go up on. Yes. And this is the way we, your phone's oh, ringing way out here in the middle right. of nowhere. Oh. But yeah, we're taking it slow down because it's slippery and we don't wanna slip. No slipping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe tomorrow morning we'll get up early and come back out here. It's only an hour and 10 minutes away. We might do that. We'll see. We made it back to the car. You can hear the rain. It like, gets heavy for a minute and then goes away. Oh, and also Jamie found some ground apples. So he might be sharing those with the dogs. He couldn't reach them in the tree this year. They were too high, but he found some good ones on the ground. What do you think? Where's dad? I got the ACs on. I know it's only like 62 out, but it's humid and it's wet, so it makes it feel a lot warmer than it really is. Weird, it's almost like they know. Like Look at her, she's like, whoa. Kira's on the other side of you. She's like, whoa, wait. Dad, did you really get us a real apple from a real apple tree? Oh. Ah! You think she's gonna like it? <laughs> is it sour? Oh, it go. What do you think of that one, Eleanor? She ate it. 
Kira. What do you think, Kira? Kira's like, I don't care. It's an apple. Give it to me. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. What about you, Memphis? She might not. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, she, <laughs> she might ate not. It. Yeah, right. This is like, that's delicious. Yeah? Wow. Yeah? It's been a long time since I've had that tart. And it's not bitter. Right. It's just tart. Right. <laughs> like a good pie apple. I don't know. Can't, well, when you put know. the sugar in it, that makes the exactly. tart apples. Yeah. yeah. This is like the green apple candy. Yeah, so it lemons taste good in lemonade. Oh, makes sense. What do you think? Was that delicious? Are you giving them another bite? Uh, I was gonna, yeah, I should, because I don't, why am I gonna cut it? <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't think I want it. Look at them, look. They're like, hey, our lunch is late. Can we nibble some oh, apple, please? Is that the thing? Is oh, lunch yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. Good stuff. Good apples. <laughs> Free apples found on the ground. <laughs> you, you have a pear. You could eat that instead. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Right, From the more. farmer's market. <laughs> one more. What? One, one more. more. So even, normally they'll eat a whole apple. That is true. Apple. You get another bite of apple. Kira's like, yes. It's my favorite. Wait, why'd you give it to Memphis first? It's my favorite thing. It's gonna yes. be torture, but you're gonna have to wait because I didn't cut three. She's like, what? What? I don't have patience. I'm this? the puppy. Since you're the puppy and you're growing, you get the biggest piece. What? Don't tell no one. And don't drop it back there. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to head on out of here. We made it back, and look, Ooh. it's still windy. And what was the temperature in here when we got back? I don't remember, but it was cold. It was like 62, 61, 62, 61, yeah. yeah, in here. Yeah, after being 90 yesterday, Ooh. and the RV was 80 degrees in here. Yeah, we'll take it. I like I like hoodie season. It's my favorite season. Hi. It's definitely Hello. breezy out. It is uh, very windy out. The lake is very angry. <laughs> we're getting ready to make dinner. Mom made beef barley soup. So she's gonna bring us down. So I forgot to tell her I do have the crock pot. I have to make sure to tell her that. And then I think my mom and I right, might run back into town because I need a few things from Walmart and she needed some jugs from Walmart. I did show them the stuff that I got. What? I did. I showed it in the. I mean, you could dump oh, it out. It's because I was driving. Yeah, you can yeah, dump it out on the oh, table. Yeah, I remember you because yeah. I saw that. Because you got those. And then we're really good. Yep, and then that's and then you got my... the caramel thing, and it was more I... caramel than blueberry. I don't know if I remember if I showed this, but I got the lilacs and bloom spray. And then this was the. The pin? That's the pin and one of those coins. I don't know if I showed the coin really well. But it's, Aww, it's yeah, I liked it. It was just it's a simple little. Michigan's better half. I thought it was cute because it says Michigan's better half. All right, and then like kind of like I'm the better half. Oh, is that it? Yeah. And then there's a move. Yeah, and then so I collect these, if you guys don't know, these mm -hmm. silly copper coins. Switch here too. Yeah. Yeah. So I collect these silly copper coins. And this one had a moose on it, and I don't have this one, so I figured. Lights galore, I think. Figured I would go. We do have lights galore. There's a light back here, too. Is there? Yeah. Come on. You can't shut shut the light. You can't shut the light on from there, but there's a light right here. Oh, wow, that's yeah. like four lights. Yeah, before. yeah, it lights up this whole but area. But it makes sense, because there's a divide there if you want yes. to shut the door yes. to the bedroom. So now it's like daylight in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, Memphis. Yes. All right, yeah, we're gonna get ready to eat some dinner and then uh, run back to town. Gee, it almost looks <laughs> like food is happening, because you're right there. Yeah. Look! Mom made us beef barley mm -hmm. soup. Mm -hmm. And it's a perfect day for it considering it's cold. Yeah. yeah. Great for mm. camping. I'm sure. Ooh, hi. It's not for puppies, I'm sorry. Is Memphis, oh yeah, Memphis is behind you. I'm like, where's Memphis? She ain't even bugging. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to do it over my head. I say you need some help making it through there. What are you getting ready for there, hon? I don't know, I, you said it was spitty rainy. It's, it's like coming off the lake and out of the trees wet. It's not actually raining. Like when I made it up on the road behind us just now when I took the dogs for a walk, it's not raining. I'm just doing this to walk the dogs. Yeah, yeah. So mom and dad went to bed, but the lake is churning up the rocks. You might find some because it's doing a good churn right now. All right, take your time. <laughs> I have internet, so I'm going to edit a video or two. Or Dan edits the videos. I'm going to approve a video or two. We're gonna hang out here, right, Eleanor? She's like, yeah, we hang out here. It'd be great. Be overheated. You are probably gonna be overheated because it's it's like 56 outside, but it's 90% humidity, so you feel sweaty real fast. Yeah. Hi, hi, wet dog. Ooh, you are. You yeah, are. she walked through all the tall stuff too. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. all right, we'll have fun. We'll see if you got anything when you get back. The dogs and I are gonna chill here. All right, I got all my pockets empty. So. Okay, sounds good. Have fun. You made it back. I do. Are you wet? 
It, it's not too wet. I can, when everything worked. I can hear the wind out there. Yeah, it's, there's rain out there too. And you found some little ones? I did. They oh, they were pretty easy to see. Yeah, that makes it easier to see them. So you this, found some traditional ember lights. Yeah. And then which one are you going to next? This one up here. Yeah, I that, just saw the... That one we might have to cut in half. Yeah, maybe see what's inside. Yeah. And this one was just weird. I don't know. It's weird. It just has that... It looks like a tooth. Right? Just <laughs> a chunk of it on there. Yeah. Hmm. That is weird. But then the traditional ones. Yeah. Hey, at least you found a couple before you mm -hmm. came back. You were only gone like 30 minutes. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to be gone. I didn't long. think you'd be gone long either. Not with yeah, how yeah. windy and crazy it was. Yeah, like I said, Mother Nature didn't want to be played with today. No, she, no. She's angry. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, no, you can go back inside. She's like, here's some night. <laughs> Hi, Memphis. She's like, here's some 91 degree weather. Yeah. And uh, she's really confused. Now here's some 56 degree weather. Hi, baby. I know. Did you just wake up? Did you realize dad's back? She's like, hmm, maybe I just lay back down. And yeah, but right back down. Are you going to sleep there tonight? You're curled up there. You're curled up all by yourself up there. And then who we got back here? Hi, Miss Kira. She's like, them dogs, I don't know what's wrong with them. This bed is the best. <laughs> you always look so happy back here. She's like, I am happy. So hopefully I'm going to get some sleep tonight. We're not going to have to go through the thunderstorm stuff with Memphis again. Because Memphis, that was horrible last night. I had to cover your ears for hours. It worked, but I didn't get any sleep. So I'm ready for bed. How about you? You ready for bed? That's not a pillow. She's like, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> is that a pillow? Does it work like a pillow? She's like, mm, kind of works like a pillow. <sighs> All right, you guys. It is supposed to be cloudy, but not raining and a little bit nicer tomorrow. So we'll probably do some more stuff tomorrow. But for now, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Good night, audience.